Okay, we're going to start the A to Z of real-time marketing in Dynamics 365 Marketing. Before we do, I thought it might be helpful to do a little bit of an overview, a little bit of an intro. If you've been using Dynamics 365 Marketing, unless you haven't done any updates and installed anything to get onto the latest version, you probably have noticed that in the sort of settings area, you've got real-time marketing. So you might have played and poked around a little bit, but maybe you're just unsure, like how do you get started? What is it exactly? So real-time marketing is, as it sounds, it's basically the ability to market to your customers in real time based on actions or interactions that they take. So we can set up things called event triggers. So if a customer goes and visits a specific page on my website, or if a customer actually checks in at an event using a QR code, or if my customer does something and we've got on their record something that is about to expire or something, a date that's going to be used, we can use those sorts of things as triggers to then send email messages, which is what you're used to already, but also text messages. And if your organization has an app of some kind, we can also do push notifications via that app as well. So there's a ton of stuff that is new and we have to wrap our heads around. Um, so yeah, A to Z of real-time marketing. Let's go. Okay, so this is where you would have been going in Dynamics 365 marketing if you've been using it to this point and you haven't touched real-time marketing yet. So we can see here that we are on the landing page, the get started area for outbound marketing. And again, this is what Dynamics 365 marketing is still to most people. Um, it's still early days with real-time marketing, so you're probably familiar with this. So down the side here, we've got the different sections. We've got marketing execution, we've got customer journeys, marketing emails, social posts, we've got our events management, lead management, um, and we also have where we've got marketing pages, marketing forms, websites, and so on. So we've got all of these different things in outbound marketing. However, if we come down to the bottom here, we now have this real-time marketing. So if I switch here, there's less things down the side, um, but don't let that fool you, it's a lot more powerful. So we've got our same landing area, this get started page, where we can see, okay, what are the top tasks? What are the things that we would do? We would create an email, we would create a journey, we would create a text message, and also create push notifications as well. So. What we're going to do in this A to Z of real-time marketing is we're going to go through basically all of the different things that you can do. Obviously, I've got a little bit of sort of creative license in terms of coming up with something for A, B, C, D, E, and so on. Um, but essentially, the entire 26 videos will cover all of real-time marketing. Now, Microsoft, love them, are always adding new features and functionality, changing things, updating things. But what I'm doing is I'm recording and as of the recording, when you're watching each video, that's how it worked at that moment in time, but things can change. So what we're going to end up looking at is we'll end up looking at the journeys within real-time marketing. So how are journeys sort of set up and created? What does a journey look like? We'll look at how the analytics within real-time marketing looks, what it is in terms of being able to look at reports and analytics from a high-level perspective. We'll look at event triggers and how are event triggers created. We'll look at the consent center, uh, sending text messages, all of the stuff that's in the real-time marketing, we will be reviewing. So hopefully you're ready, you're excited, you're prepared. It's something that you want to start learning about. And then you'll be able to look at real-time marketing and figure out where it fits within your organization, where it fits within your marketing efforts, and when you're ready to actually start using it. Hopefully this series is going to give you the tools and the knowledge that you need to do that. I hope you enjoy it. The um, A to Z of real-time marketing has begun. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.